Welcome to another video on Vinyl Attic, and I'm Chili, and today I want to talk about this album here. This is a 70s pick I got for you guys. This is Ram Jam. This is their uh, debut album. Came out in 1977. They had a short-lived career, uh, 77 to 78. Two records, and this one was the, uh, the debut here. And this is a music on vinyl reissue, and... Uh, really nice. Look at that cover. That's an interesting cover. Sort of like some kind of Aztec thing with the ram and then there's these two little, I don't know if they're, they're astronauts or something like that, but and then the back is the band um, and a little summary about these guys. They're um, American and English and so you know, this, this album was very, uh, it's a one hit wonder, I guess. It was successful in the UK and uh, successful in the States. It was 37 number, yeah, in the Billboard charts, like number 37 on um, in the States, but in, in the UK, like it hit the top 10. That is due to the fact of the song, uh, Black Betty. And um, Black Betty is, uh, uh, it's just a great song. It's, uh, you know, that's, if you're going to have a one-hit wonder, why not have Black and Betty? And um, it's it's a song that they um, covered from, here comes that plane. Um, you can hear it. Okay. It's closer. It's a, it's a lead belly song. Okay, which was 59 seconds that uh, Lead Billy um, did. And, you know, there's been like different meanings about what Black Betty is about. Um, you know, it's supposedly it, it came, started in the 19th century. Um, and, you know, so there's some connotations about it, like, it, you know, like it's a racist song and this type of thing. And, um, but Black Betty, there's the term of it had to do with whiskey, and it that dates back to um, even Ben Franklin writings. He wrote he wrote some books and whatnot, and he referred to you know having his lips on drinking Black Betty, which is whiskey, and so. But then it's been, it's just been like um, turned into so many other things, and so this was actually, they, they tried to boycott it, the NAACP and the um, Center for Equality, Racial Equality, and which is odd because it's, it's it, it harks back to uh, um, a black person who wrote the song. So I don't know what, what why they crying racism or whatever. Is it because it's a right, white group doing lead belly? Because if that's the that's their reasoning, then that's racist in itself. So, you know, because if you're just trying to honor something that you, you know, as a musician, you love, whether, you know, you go to, you know, like George Harrison goes to India and, and, and starts picking up on certain things like that of their culture and like was really, you know, moved by it and inspired. And then, you know, you're going to pick up a sitar, you know, so if, if these guys are picking up, you know, something from, you know, some old blues guy, folk guy. And then they call it, you know, racist. It's just, yeah, that, that was stupid. The boycott didn't, it failed. Like all these types of, you know, these stupid movements where they're just, you know, crying about stuff. And, and the thing is, that's what good rock and roll does because it just, you know, um, any kind of outside um, kind of, you know, convention, conventional um, kind of movement or something. It, it really, rock and roll doesn't apply to any of that anyway. It, it's in its own movement in itself, which is outside of that anyway. So um, it's outside of the, the realm of, you know, uh, what people say as moral or, or anything. It, 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 it starts off, its genesis is not... Um, governed by rules so it doesn't apply to any rules that you try to apply to it and that's what real rock does and so 
Ram Ram Jam is a perfect example of that. You know, so um but let's talk about the rest of the album. The the rest of the album is great, you know, because it, there's um you think how could you follow that song, you know, and uh there's just numbers in here, like there's some instrumental songs on here. Uh, there's um, one called High Steppin', which is really cool, and the musicianship is, is just phenomenal. Uh, there's some like kind of grand funky, kind of like uh, we're in an American band type stuff, and then there's some sort of like T-Rex songs, like a, a, there's the, the last song, which is um, uh, Too Bad on Your Birthday. Yeah, it sounds like there's like this... T-Rex kind of riff, you know, on there, like a, a bang a gong riff it starts off with, and, you know, um, All for the Love of Rock and Roll is a great song, so, you know, this scores on many levels, you know, and it's unfortunate they didn't stay that long together, and they even replicated, you know, the original epic label, you know, from 1977. So, and poly lining, which is always a plus. So music on vinyls, you know, did a great job on this. And I highly recommend getting this from beginning to end. And, you know, that's why even though it's like a one hit wonder back then, you know, you buy an album like this in the 70s, you drop the needle, you, you listen to it from the beginning to the end. You know, um, nowadays people just want that instant you know, gratification of what, what song they heard and they just wanted to just put it there. But, you know, we just, you know, that's the the, the thing about vinyl and, and the whole culture of it. And you just, you know, we really get involved in our, you know, our purchases and our vinyls and, and the artists that we choose and we want to listen to more of what they have to say. And, and, and while doing so, we're just like, enthralled by the nice, you know, artwork and liner notes and whatnot, lyrics that are included and you get wrapped up into the whole world of what you just bought, you know, and so uh, that's what's so great about, you know, this resurgence with vinyl and people are picking up on that, younger people are picking up on that, that, you know, you could really, you know, get involved with your music and uh, get a great understanding about things. So that's my uh, video today on, you know, a 70s one-hit wonder or 70s pick on vinyl is Ram Jam. So um, thanks for listening and, um, you know, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.